Real Elizy, man. Good morning. What's good? What's going on? Working from the crib today. Um, I got to sound off on this LeBron shit, bro. Nineteen years ago, I'm a year older than LeBron. So as I'm in high school, we used to go. You know what I'm saying? On lunch breaks and in between class, we used to go over to like the little bookstore, right? And we used to go look at all the little slam magazines and shit. You know, all the little basketball magazines. And on the front cover, it had this guy. Um, you know, it had LeBron James on the front cover, and it said the chosen one across, and it said King James. Now, my you. He was only 17 years old at this point. You feel what I'm saying? And we were following basketball back then because we played, obviously. You feel me? So we was deep, heavy in everything that was going on, you know what I'm saying, in, in basketball from a high school standpoint. You know what I'm saying? We had to keep up with what's going on with, like, teams like Modern Day and, you know, teams over in Southern California, which, you know, had Trevor Reza and, a whole bunch of different motherfuckers who played over there. You know what I'm saying? Coming up out of L.A. Different AAU circuits and stuff like that. You feel me? So, uh, LeBron played for the soldiers, for the Oakland soldiers. So, he would come out here, you know what I'm saying, often. Um, and have, and they, they run their little tournaments or whatever. You feel me? And the guy was huge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Only like 16, 17 years old. He was talented, skilled. You know what I'm saying? But then also, you know, being connected to high school basketball, there were other talented athletes that just that you were in awe of. Like, damn, that motherfucker got game. Like, you feel me? And the person to draw my eye was Carmelo Anthony at Oak Hill Academy. So I would follow Oak Hill and follow Carmelo Anthony, like, you know what I'm saying, in his journey and in his high school uh, basketball career, which he had a lot of different battles with LeBron James. They met up on a regular basis, like, you know what I'm saying? And it was always competitive and good games. But they put LeBron James on the front of all the magazines. But Carmelo wasn't on the front of these magazines, slam magazines. He might have got one cover maybe. Or he might have got an ad in the magazine. But it was always centered around LeBron James. And it, it just said the chosen one, King James. He was just a pup. And I'm sitting here trying to figure this out. And we have arguments and everybody talking about King James. And at this time, Kobe Bryant was in his prime in the NBA. I'm like, nigga, why are we talking about this nigga? 17 years old, bro. The chosen one. What make him the chosen one? Nigga, Kobe and Jordan still playing. They in the league, nigga, right now. What are you, what are we doing? I say, and then I, we used to always say, I say, nigga, I, I used to tell my, forget my partners and everybody, I say, nigga, Carmelo Anthony, way better than this nigga, be serving this nigga. Because it was nothing about the guy that really stood out to me. He really didn't have no jumper. It was this pure athleticism. He was just bigger, faster, and stronger than everybody. Like, you get what I'm saying? But he didn't have no game, like, like no real game. Excuse me. So I'm just trying to sit here and, and just like put this shit in perspective. And I'm like, why do these niggas keep praising this nigga, bro? I'm like, it's nothing special about him. He's just bigger, faster, stronger. He's jumping over the rim, dunking, doing his little power. Ugh. And I'm like, okay. But Carmelo nigga used to post your ass up. Nigga drop step. Ugh. And then he'd give you nigga the feet work. He'd get you on that perimeter. Ooh, ooh, hesitation. Hesitation. Nigga he has he has he pull up. And then he give you a hezzy, oh, got you on a head fake, go by you. <laughs> then he give you a post up, turn around, fade away. <laughs> and I was like, nigga, that's a basketball player. If you ask me and what I see, that's a basketball player. So the media been pumping this nigga over here, but the real nigga up over there. How that work? Think about what we talking about here, nigga. So now you fast forward, right? Carmelo goes off to college first year. Boop, Syracuse. LeBron still what? Um, 
Well, it's LeBron. So while Carmelo's at Syracuse, LeBron is senior year, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we see Carmelo shining on the biggest stage, brightest lights, NCAA tournament, Jim Beheim, Syracuse, zone. You know what I'm talking about? We see Carmelo go into college first year and say, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to win a chip. Destroy these niggas. That's what he do. While everything is still centered, mind you, everything is still centered around LeBron James. Even though Carmelo is in college, they're talking about a high school player. We're talking about a motherfucker on the brightest stage, biggest life, NCAA tournament, Final Four, national championship, the most outstanding player of that motherfucking NCAA tournament. Carmelo Anthony. He don't get no love at all. Everything is centered around King James, King James. The chosen one, the chosen one. I'm like, I see what's going on already. I spotted this shit a long time ago. That's why I see this shit through a different lens, nigga. It's not one of you niggas out here. I'm a pure Kobe fan, nigga. Jordan, Kobe, Melo. You, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers like that. Get that shit out of the mud, nigga. Nothing was given to these niggas like, here, here is your league. 16, 17-year-old, you're the face. You're the next face. No, nigga, if you understand how the media work, nigga. I wrote a college paper, nigga, on the media. Nigga, when I was in college, nigga, I wrote a paper, nigga, on the media that was straight A plus, 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 nigga. So I've been knowing the Fugazi and how this shit been working, nigga. You can't manipulate me into making me think that something is when it's really not, nigga. And this nigga, LeBron James, nigga, J. Reed, whatever you want to call this bitch ass nigga, is phony from the gates, nigga. Period. This nigga has a straight, he's a control freak. Because he came from a situation to where he had no control, nigga. He didn't have no structure. Nigga didn't teach that nigga how to be a man. So he pussyfoot around this motherfucker acting like a little bitch. Straight up, nigga. And then he bring all his punk ass partners along. Maverick Carter, Rich Paul, all these niggas. And they acting like hoes, nigga. I can guarantee you niggas had no bitches in motherfucking high school, bruh. You can just sit there and tell. The way these niggas act and carry themselves, that's not how real niggas act and carry themselves. This nigga is a control freak. Everything, because you know why? Because his white zaddy, nigga, the white man made this nigga. So they're trying to make this, they're, they're making this nigga, but guess what? In the public eye, they're trying to make it seem as if he's this hell of five motherfucker. But you have to look out how he has been acting his whole career. Look at the shit that he say. Pay attention to shit that comes out of his mouth. The shit he say, and then he doubles back and he says something different. You get what I'm saying? Pay attention to the shit he says versus the actions. A real nigga not going to say and act like that, bruh. You feel me? Straight up. Everything this nigga associated with, everything that this nigga do, he has to make some sort of alteration, some changes. Oh, I want it my way. I want it my way. If I can't get it my way, then I don't want to do it. Or it, it's my way or the highway. Like a little bitch ass nigga. That's the nigga who didn't like to share his toys when he was little. Cause he fit, he, he like, that's the motherfucker who was like, it's my toy. You can't play with my toys. Oh, that's the nigga who at the gym, nigga, where everybody shoot, come to the gym with their basketball. Everybody shooting their basketball in the gym, right? Everybody shooting their basketball gym and you get the rebound and that one nigga come up. Hey, 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 get my ball, bro. Get my ball. Ball, ball. Get my ball. Cause he thinking nigga gonna steal his shit, nigga. I done lost plenty of basketballs in the gym. I don't give a fuck, nigga. $40, $60, nigga. Stop crying, nigga. Go get another fucking basketball, bitch ass, nigga. Oh, you can't shoot around with my ball. Yeah, I'm, I'm shooting around with it, though, bro. Y'all can't use my ball. Bitch ass, nigga. The nigga act just like that. 
Fast forward, nigga. Where are we at right now? Where are we at right now, nigga? Tell me where are we at. I want you niggas to tell me where we at. All you pussy ass, fake ass Laker fans and punk ass LeBron fans, now you niggas is in hiding, nigga. Hibernating and all that shit. Don't have shit to say. Don't want to stand on your motherfucking nut sacks, nigga. And, sh and squish them old shriveled up ass motherfuckers. Why you niggas still pissing on your nuts up out here, nigga? This whole ass nigga had, had, has had more changes than a little bit, nigga. He changed shit around more than you niggas change your draws, nigga. And we know you should be doing that daily, sometimes twice, nigga, when you be pissing and shit all up in your shit, nigga, and shitting all in your draws. And having them streaks and shit down all down in your draws, nigga. And the bitch be like, nigga, some smell funny. And you be like, oh, shit, nigga, I got cologne on, though. No, nigga, your ass, nigga, it's funky, nigga. Straight up. Just like everything this nigga put his hands on, nigga, it smell like shit, nigga. Straight up. This bitch ass nigga sitting there getting fans tossed out. I ain't never seen no superstar athlete nigga get heckled more than he do. Because you know why? It's other real motherfuckers out there that see this nigga for who he really is. This nigga saying, nigga, oh, nigga, oh, nigga, what you know about basketball other than the ball going in the hoop? That sound like some motherfucking cocky, arrogant ass shit, nigga. Just because, how do you know, nigga, he don't have a basketball IQ? Whoever you talking to in the crowd, how you know they don't have a basketball acumen, nigga? Just because you play in the NBA, nigga, and you number three all-time leading scorer in the NBA, nigga, you supposed to have some sort of special ass, like, you know what I'm saying, basketball mind, nigga? Nigga, we understand basketball too, and we understand that you acting like a bitch, nigga. And this motherfucking video might get flagged because they don't like when you talk bad about niggas like that. But I don't give a fuck, nigga. I ain't never gave a fuck. Straight up. It's just who I am. It is what it is, nigga. Let the cars fall where they may, nigga. Straight up. They don't want the truth to get out about this nigga. And you got all niggas like Shaquille O'Neal, all these other niggas capping for this nigga. Straight up talking about the Lakers and never won another championship ever. No, nigga. They will win. It's going to take some time. But to start, to start, you got to get rid of LeBron, nigga. That's the cancer. You see Cleveland bounce back. Cleveland bounce back real quick. You see Miami ain't never really dropped off. You feel me? So, so Miami is there too. But the Lakers, Jeannie Buss, Rob Palenka, and the Buss family are allowing this one guy to single-handedly tear down the best franchise in sports history. Period. Point blank, nigga. I don't even recognize this franchise. They told Magic to stay away. Got rid of Magic. Never gave Kareem a front office position. At least a player a, a, a development for a big man who passed through L.A. I know he worked with Andrew Bynum. He ain't worked with nobody else, though. You feel me? None of the motherfucking greats, bro. They treated motherfuckers like dirt. They treated motherfuckers like dirt. And it's all because of one man, nigga, who came in since he was 17, nigga, with the mindset that, nigga, I'm about to run this league. And now look how he, how he, look how he has been running the league, nigga. Look at the moves he's been making. He even got other superstar players, nigga, want to mimic and do everything that he do as far as from a business standpoint. You know what I'm saying? As far as from an organizational standpoint. You know what I'm saying? Calling the shots, wanting to play with certain players, trying to build super teams, even though Boston did it first. Yeah, there were a bunch of super teams back in the day, nigga, but that was just all organic, though. Those super teams were organic. Certain players got traded to certain places. Certain players didn't. They couldn't get along, you know what I'm saying, with other players. So they was like, man, I don't think it's ideal for me to be in this situation. So they was traded, nigga. 
period, point blank. But everybody else was drafted, free agents and draft. We know that shit was not the same back then, you know what I'm saying, as it was now. So it was easier for great Hall of Fame players. You could down there have five, six, seven Hall of Fame players on your team. But now niggas is picking and choosing where they want to go. Oh, I don't want to play. So a nigga sit out. Oh, I got mental illness. Fuck. This shit is mental. I, I got to go to therapy. Like, nigga, the whole world, we've been dealing with mental illness, nigga, especially as black people, bro. The fuck is you talking about? And it's not even an illness, to be honest. It's only an illness when you have a chemical imbalance and you start acting out on crazy thoughts that come to your mind. And you start acting out on those crazy thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole world, nigga, go through a point in time to where they battle depression. You know what I'm saying? They're insecure. You feel me? They don't know what they might want to do with their lives. They don't like either. They turn to alcohol and different addictions, drugs. You feel what I'm saying? We all go through that phase. But you got to be strong and have faith, though. You feel me? Straight up. But he even, LeBron got niggas out here weird as fuck, bro. This is not the league that we grew to love, bro. None of the greats, past, future, present, can respect how this nigga move. But you know what? In order to protect their bag, they have to come out and glorify this nigga and everything that he does and make excuses for him to protect their bag. These niggas don't have no real control, nigga, over they, over they motherfucking money. These niggas don't have real control over their money, nigga. It's somebody behind the scenes, financial advisor, publicist, you know what I'm saying? Different representatives behind the scenes that's telling this nigga what to do, when to do it, and how to move, nigga. That means you're not free. You niggas ain't free. <laughs> you think you niggas is free about here, nigga? You don't have no control or ownership over nothing, nigga. You're not free. But this bitch ass nigga come along, nigga, and think that everything he say is golden? Nigga, really? You bitch ass nigga. This nigga LeBron James don't stand on nothing, nigga. And then make excuses. For him to interact and, and get fans kicked out the motherfucking stands, nigga, just for heckling and saying he a bitch ass nigga. That's some whole shit, bruh. Straight up. That's the nigga he used to tell on class and he was talking the whole time, nigga, and being an irritant in class. And he'd be like, no, it wasn't me. It was him. It was her. She was talking to me. It was him. He was talking to me. That's that nigga, bro. That nigga's a, a, a bona fide hoe, bro. Straight up. And I'm just speaking specifically to that nigga. That's how that nigga act, nigga. He been like that, though. Nigga who been coddled his whole motherfucking career. No real male leadership in his life. So now you guess what you get, nigga, when you don't have no real me uh, male leadership. You come up, nigga, with them feminine tendencies, nigga. That old square ass shit. That soft ass shit, nigga. He not built like the real ones, bro. You're not built like that. You're just not built like that, bro. I'm sorry. That, like, that might hurt your feelings, nigga, but we keeping it a hundred. Stop trying to act like somebody you not, bro. You got a whole organization in shambles and you won't sit here and take accountability for none of it. When you orchestrated all this shit behind the scenes, you and your team, nigga. You and your bitch ass team, nigga. Shitting on the man Kobe Bryant. But then, but then in one sense you say, I admire Kobe, man. I looked up to Kobe. Everybody wanted to be like Kobe. And then say the things that you said behind the scenes, nigga, to try to shut Kobe off so you can be the man. You feel me? Because you was too scared, nigga, to have a conversation with the man face to face and the differences that you might have seen. You know what I'm saying? And the things that you might have seen, like, alter the thing. But they got you in the camera, nigga, laughing and joking with the nigga, handshaking, all the shit, being fake like the nigga you really is. You feel me? And then, and, and then another says, oh, I admire Jordan. Everybody wanted to be like Jordan growing up. I admire Jordan. So you admired all these niggas, though, huh? But you want to be the man, though. So why, if you admire niggas, why that none of that shit rub off on you then? Why you gotta go and stack the deck, nigga, everywhere you go? <clears throat> the only thing that matters to me, I just want to play with my son. I'll do whatever it takes to go and play with my son. Whatever I gotta do, because at this point, it's not about the money. You just need to pay attention to what niggas say. 
Oh, you associate me with um me saying I want to play in Cleveland. I never said that I'm going to go back and play in Cleveland. Nigga, I don't think they want to fuck with you anyway by all the shit that's coming out now. And they're seeing how you really are. You's a stat padding ass nigga. I've been new this about this nigga though. This ain't nothing new to me. I've been telling this nigga. I've been telling these niggas that for 20 years, bro. This nigga is not a real one, bro. He's not built like the real nigga. He wouldn't last in the 80s and the 70s. He would not last, nigga. He would just be a regular fucking player, bro, that's skilled, that had all the potential in the world and never really lived up to that potential. Because niggas would have seen him for what he was and niggas would have been punking that nigga and he would have shied away from this shit. Oh, okay. But you niggas sit there and glorify a nigga who sit there and lie straight to y'all face, nigga. Who sit there and got a bunch of numbers to dictate how good this nigga really is. That shit means nothing, nigga. Because guess what? Jordan didn't have to talk about it. Jordan went out there and showed you who was the fucking best in the world, nigga. Jordan didn't have to talk about it, nigga. He showed you who the best in the world. Kobe didn't have to talk about it. He showed you who the best in the world, nigga. They channel something different, nigga, inside here and inside here. That's something that LeBron can't motherfucking, he can't uh, manifest that. The nigga be sitting on the bench, in the middle of the bench, meditating, bruh, in pressure and clutch situation. The nigga sitting there like this. The nigga sitting there meditating, nigga, on how to motherfucking take your last shot. To muster up enough guts and gall, nigga, to go take the motherfucking last shot of the game. What are you meditating for in the middle of the game, nigga? What the fuck are you meditating for, bitch ass nigga? <laughs> I ain't never seen no shit like this, man. That shit is crazy to me, bro. And you niggas call this nigga the greatest in the world? When the nigga in a series with the Boston Celtics got to watch the Godfather trilogy, nigga, five times in a row. Who are you, bro? I think this is a white dude, nigga, that's in blackface. Because I ain't seen niggas scary like that, nigga. That nigga scary, bro. That nigga got to do hella shit, nigga, just to, to get that demon in it. Like, it's either in you or it ain't in you, nigga. What do you have to do all this special shit for in order to just be in a moment, nigga, and channel something different? If you're a real competitor, that nigga came to the league. He not no competitor. He just came to the league, nigga. He wasn't talking shit to nobody. LeBron just started talking shit, nigga, about eight, year, eight nine, ten years ago. That nigga didn't come to the league, nigga, with that John Moran on him, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? He didn't come to the league, nigga, with that Kobe and that Jordan on him, nigga, where he, nigga, talking shit to niggas, busting their ass, nigga. He wasn't on no Iris and no Tracy McGrady type shit, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Nigga's been a fraud his whole career, bruh. And the media comes out here and defends this nigga because of the money that he, that he makes these guys. You feel me? He makes them a lot of money. The nigga endorsing Joe Biden. Joe Biden got us on the brink of World War III. He's endorsing a motherfucker who then locked up more black people in the motherfucking world who pushing his bitch ass motherfucking vaccination agenda on everybody. He's endorsing this nigga. What team you play for, bro? Are you a liberal? What the fuck are you, nigga? Are you free? Fuck no. Straight hoe ass nigga. The nigga didn't tour motherfucking. The nigga didn't walked out on a whole city and a whole state just to come back. Cleveland, this is for you. Why he got all his white zaddy surrounded that nigga when he said that? They cheered him on. Yeah, 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 boy. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I told you we was going to make sure that you got in this moment so you can say this motherfucking shit. These niggas is hoes, bro. <laughs> Not built real. Why do you have a racist white publicist? Why do you have a racist white publicist? But you're supposed to be so pro-black. This nigga is a really a white dude, bro, that's painted in blackface, bro. 
I believe that shit, bro. Real talk. I ain't never seen no nigga like this. This nigga is like all the fake ass motherfucking black motherfucking activists today. The activists that we got today. He ain't like the Martin Luther Kings, nigga. <laughs> he ain't like them kind, nigga. The Muhammad Ali's, the Martin Luther Kings, nigga. The Malcolm X's. He not like them, nigga, who sacrifice everything. To say, nigga, fuck you niggas. I'm going to do this shit my way. No, he he's a puppet on the string, nigga. They're controlling this nigga. <laughs> nigga leave a whole state a whole city they was crushed because they thought he was a real one just to kind of find out that he wasn't a real one he goes to miami celebrates not one not 10 not 20 not 100 nigga we about to do this shit bitch ass niggas we about to win 100 motherfucking championships that was a lie. We knew that was a lie. He was just fronting. <laughs> that nigga was just gassing everybody up. Trying to sell a face. He was selling a motherfucking fake dream, bro. He was selling a fake dream. No substance behind nothing he says. The nigga went over there and get two phony ass rings. One motherfucking champ. One shortened season in which the refs gave him niggas that against that OKC team. Durant should have beat them niggas ass that series. Then he comes back, nigga, and wins another one against motherfucking San Antonio. We already know how that motherfucking series played. That was some some un, some special circumstances, some special shit happened in order for him to win that shit. He was just a nigga who got his numbers. He wasn't a nigga who put the stamp on the series, though. He just got numbers, so it looked good. Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Mike Miller. Mike Miller was serving, nigga, in that motherfucking series against OKC. Feel me? And then motherfucking just Shane Batty ate the Mario Chalmers. All them motherfucking, they saved this nigga, bruh. This nigga was just a stat padding ass nigga from the gates. And then the nigga come back, lose. You feel me? Dallas, J.J. Barrera, Jason Terry smoked this nigga. That nigga couldn't even take them, nigga. He was terrible. The nigga quit in that series. Then that last one, nigga, were, oh, I got cramps. I got all of a sudden, nigga, you're down 30, nigga. You got cramps all of a sudden. You act like that motherfucker was the Boston Garden or something, nigga, back in the day, nigga. Every building, nigga, got AC and nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? AC and con uh, conditioners up in that motherfucker, you feel me? He tried to make it seem like I got cramps, so I can't return to the game. He quit. You seen a nigga facial expression when Kawhi Leonard was coming in when he looked back at the bench? Oh, fuck. Not this nigga. This nigga finna lock me up, man. Fuck, it's hard, man. This nigga gonna make it hard for me, man. It's supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be no resistance. I just want this shit to be easy, man. Fuck. Bitch nigga. Scared of the smoke. Period, point blank. Scared of the smoke, nigga. Keep it a hundred. Then a nigga quit because he couldn't get Eric Spolster fired. Because Pat Riley say, nigga, what the, you, are you out of your mind, nigga? I'm Pat Riley, nigga. You're not running nothing over here in this motherfucker, nigga. That nigga try to take over the organization, bro, and start calling the shots. When you just went to two motherfucking, when you won two finals and lost two with motherfucking Eric Spolster as your coach. Now, all of a sudden, you want Eric Spolster gone? But he used to always come out in the media and in the post program, man, P Spo, he used to call him Spo. Spo is my guy, man. Coach Spo, you know what I'm saying? We ride for Coach Spo. Woo -woo -woo. But secretly on the back end, you want a nigga fired behind the scenes? That's why your bitch ass ran. They say, nigga, get your bitch ass up out of here. Nigga, you not Bill right. <laughs> we don't want that. Oh, oh, I'll go back to Cleveland. Look like they got two, um, they got three number one draft picks in a row, man. Oh, wow. Look like they building a championship for me over there. Shit, I'll, I'll go back home. I'm going to write a letter to the fans. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Bitch, nigga. <laughs> nigga, crazy. That nigga got to write a letter to say, I'm coming home, bro. That's crazy, nigga. Why did you leave? 
fuck you leave for just to say, write a letter back to him and said, I'm coming home to try to, to get in their good graces again. And just like niggas who've been manipulated by the media the whole time, they welcome them with open arms. The nigga go to like five straight finals. Only win one though. Cleveland, this is for you. <sighs> Bitch, nigga. Oh, Draymond Green said something that you just shouldn't say um, to people on the basketball court. I think he should be suspended. Yeah, they're not giving me any calls, so. Yeah, they vandalized my home. We have yet to find out who it was, even though I got security cam cameras everywhere in my $40 trillion home. But we don't know who it was. I'm not worried about none of that stuff because I'm the greatest in the world. I'm the greatest in the world. How do you feel about that loss, though, LeBron? Oh, I don't care about the loss because I'm the greatest in the world. Bitch, nigga. <laughs> Bitch, nigga. <laughs> Fast forward. I'm going to take my talents to Hollywood and become the richest motherfucking player ever while still playing in the NBA. I'm going to make a Space Jam 2 because I really want to live in Jordan's shadow. I want to be just like Jordan. You didn't see Kobe go make a motherfucking movie, a Space Jam movie. No, bitch ass nigga. He just wrote a short story and was the first nigga ever Basketball player, athlete, nigga to win an Oscar. LeBron is a bitch, nigga. We gonna sprinkle some of that, nigga. We gonna sprinkle some of that mama's cooking on that shit, though, nigga. We gonna sprinkle some of that mama's cooking on that shit, nigga. You feel me? Shout out to motherfucking Kwame Brown, man. You feel me? Yeah. <clears throat> nigga goes to LA first season and nigga quit I got a groin oh my fuck my groin injury oh shit I got a groin Lakers crap Boop. don't make the playoffs <clears throat> okay then what we do we come back to that second season what's that 2019 oh 2019 oh oh off season fuck that Rich Paul nigga go get AD nigga ain't you his representative fuck that we going to get motherfucking AD We'll do whatever it takes to get AD over here, nigga. To help me win a chip. To help me win a chip. Fuck the Lakers. Fuck the fans. To, to nigga submit my name in the history books. I want the chip. So bring a talent like AD over here, nigga, so I can win. Selfish mother bitch. And what AD do? Oh, I don't want to play for you guys anymore. I want to play for the Lakers. So he sits out. He does motherfucking Alvin Gentry. No solids, bro. The way he treated that man. I'm going to sit out, man. Uh, I don't want to play for y'all. You feel me? I just... Yeah. Bitch, nigga. Bitch, nigga. See, that shit rub off. That bitch, nigga syndrome rub off on niggas. When you all up under bitch, niggas and shit, it, that bitch ass and this shit rub off on you. When you under smart niggas, intelligent motherfuckers, motherfuckers getting that shit out the mud, motherfuckers who got a strong work ethic, Motherfuckers, nigga, who, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> motherfuckers who would put their own motherfucking sacrifice, their own successes, nigga, to see somebody else's, see somebody else win. <clears throat> Those are real niggas. When you surround yourself with smart motherfuckers, intellectuals, you become that, period, point blank. But when you, when you, you know what I'm saying, associate yourself with them bitch niggas, you start to become that. And that's what we're seeing around the league. These niggas is bitch niggas. These niggas want to go stack the deck. I want to play with this nigga. I want to play with that nigga. I don't want to beat your ass head up, nigga, and see who the best. Nigga, I want to go play with you. So we can just run the table and make this shit look too easy. But then again, they're probably not going to make it look easy because it's scripted. Niggas is low managing. Niggas not really injured. You feel me? Niggas is sitting out. You know what I'm saying? Hella games, getting paid. You feel me? Collecting money, not even giving a fuck about the game that they grew to, uh, to love.
but they disrespect the integrity of the game, though. And it makes it hard to watch at times. But you got this bitch ass nigga, right? <coughs> But you got this nigga right here, right? He gets AD, he gets his little bubble ring. He gets his fake ass Walt Disney ring. Another again, another special ass circumstances in which he needed in order to obtain a championship, but nobody counting. So <coughs> So we see that, right? Right? Okay. So fast forward. Same team that he won the chip with. Come back the next season. Let's run this shit back. Let's try to go for two. Go for three. Oh, no, I'm good. Get rid of that nigga. Get rid of that nigga. Get rid of that nigga. I want that nigga over there. First, I want that nigga right there because he was killing over in OKC. Then give me that nigga because he was over there killing, nigga. I could do something with that nigga over there. He was killing over there, nigga. Uh, give me all the six-man niggas up over there. You feel me? Give me Schroeder. Uh, uh, give me that nigga over there. Give me that nigga over there. Okay. And then what? Now it's, oh, it's reports of... Shit ain't going right. They start benching niggas. Montrez Harrell, gone. Montrez Harrell, on a bench. Dennis Schroeder, oh, no, he's not the point guard that LeBron was looking for. Saw these different reports. Oh, Cal Kuzma, fuck. They don't like Cal Kuzma. No. Well, uh, get rid of all these niggas. So what happens? They get swept. Phoenix blast they bitch ass. Get blasted, nigga. Exit. See ya. What happens in the offseason? Oh, Trey Kuzma. Fuck that nigga. Kuzma, KCP, Harold. Fuck that nigga. We shipping your ass over there to Washington, nigga, to DC, nigga. We won't wrestle Westbrook out of that shit, nigga. I'm, I'm nigga, I'm getting Russell Westbrook. Oh, Carmelo, your friend, nigga, come fuck with your boy, nigga. We've been doing this shit since high school, nigga. You want a ring? You want a ring, Carmelo? I got you, nigga. We gonna get you. I'm gonna get you a ring, nigga. Because I own this league, nigga. This league is mine, nigga. I do whatever it takes, nigga, to get a ring, nigga. They fucked me in my ass already, bro. I'm going to get this ring, nigga. All right. All right, I fuck with you, bro. You know you my nigga, bro. We grew up hooping and shit with each other together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I know you ain't a real one, nigga. You feel me? You from Akron. I'm from motherfucking Baltimore blocks. You feel me? So I'll come fuck with you, my nigga. Straight up. AD didn't got married, hella fat, nigga ain't invested in winning, soft, nigga been injured his whole career, <laughs> I'm like, come on, man, what we talking about right now, man, come on now, this shit crazy, I'm trying to tell niggas this shit is crazy, so what happens? What happens after that? He trades all them niggas. He gets his super team that he so wanted so bad. He gets his super team. What happened? They start the season off inconsistent. Sign hella motherfuckers at one year deals. He grab Malik Monk. Give me Kendrick Nunn. Give me this motherfucker. Give me that motherfucker. Give me old Trevor Reese. They do defender. Nigga Kobe won with him. I can win with him too. Fuck So now, fast forward. Starting off slow, inconsistent, no D. You know what I'm saying? And as this season has gone on, it just got progressively worse. Chemistry issues. Oh, they don't fit. Oh, they're not playing up to the level of expectation. Oh, it's the coach fault. Oh, they're not listening to me. Oh, fuck. We need a new GM. Oh, fuck. We need a new this. Oh, fuck. We got to trade the whole team in the middle of the season, nigga. When you just traded for all these niggas, you asked for every player you got, and you got them, nigga. Bitch, nigga. So all of a sudden, now everybody got to go. 
It's time to revamp this shit. Because you know why he said, I'll do whatever it takes. He said he'll do whatever it takes. I'm just going by what he said. Beginning of the season, we was dragging that nigga, right? Everybody was dragging it. And that nigga was on Twitter listening to the chatter. Not mainstream media, but the real niggas who out here, you know what I'm saying? Spitting them LIPs on a nigga, you feel me? So, boom. We dragging this nigga. what he say? Long ass tweet. I just want y'all, y'all talking about our ages. Y'all talking about our accomplishments. Y'all talking about this. Y'all talking about that. I just want y'all to keep the same energy. So we keeping the same energy and he's sitting there talking to the fans, saying, what you know about basketball? And then tell the fan, proceed to tell the fans, shut your bitch ass up. He's telling that to a the Laker nation, bro. He's really talking to you, the Laker nation. I'm not on his train. I'm not on the Laker train right now. He ain't talking to me, nigga. He know better. That nigga ain't talking to me, nigga. Straight up. He's talking to you niggas who supporting this bitch ass nigga. And if I was the, the real, the Laker nation, nigga, if I was y'all, bro, I will boo that nigga every game that that nigga suit up to say, nigga, sit your ass out for the rest of the season. Nigga, get your ass out of here. Make that nigga leave so we can rebuild our organization, nigga, out the mud like we've been doing. You feel me? We drafted Kobe. We drafted motherfucking Magic, nigga. We traded for Shaq, or we signed Shaq in the offseason, and we signed motherfucking uh, Kareem. You feel me? We drafted motherfucking Sam Perkins. We drafted Michael Cooper, nigga. We drafted all these niggas, James Big Game Worthy, nigga. We, dra we got this shit out the mud, nigga, the correct way. We had lottery pricks, Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, even though I thought they should have drafted De'Aaron Fox, but still. We had a nothing but lottery picks. Julius Randle. Motherfucking Kyle Kuzma. Brandon Ingram. In which we could have possibly got a motherfucking Jason Tatum. But that's neither here nor there, bro. But I'm saying we build shit out the mud, nigga. We get this shit out the mud, nigga. And now we don't have nothing to stand on right now, nigga. But an old ass motherfucker who's padding his stats, chasing records instead of, nigga, trying to build motherfucking contenders he's trying to build contenders behind he, he's he's doubling back on everything that he stands for he lobbied for all of these players to come over and now all of a sudden it's not working and now he's putting that shit on the ownership and saying oh i'm not in that position i don't uh, shit i don't have nothing to do with the acquisition that's on the ownership and now jenny bus it's ran his court she's tired nigga you never got that with kobe they love kobe and respected kobe but did they allow Kobe to make all these different decisions? No. Did they run it by Kobe, maybe? About what do you think about this move and think about that move? You feel me? But that's when Mitch Kupchak was in, in office. Jerry West was in office. You know what I'm saying? You had Vin, uh, Phil Jackson in office. But as soon as Rob Palenka and LeBron came over to this motherfucker, this shit went to shit show. It's a shit show, bro. That's what it is. And LeBron don't care about winning, but why would you come over to an organization like this to motherfucking sabotage the organization? If you care about your stats and your numbers, why don't you just go play for OKC? Go play for a team, Orlando Magic. Go play for teams that's not really playing for nothing, Indiana Pacers. Why don't you go play for teams that don't give a fuck about winning, bitch ass nigga, if you would just care about stats? We about winning, nigga, over here, nigga, in, in, in La La Land, nigga, for the late show, nigga. We, we, we win, nigga. We got, nigga, banners up there, nigga. We got Western Conference championships up there, nigga. We got division championships up there, nigga. We don't play for a play in our eighth seed, nigga. We don't play for that, nigga. We trying to go get that shit. We want all the marbles. For real, for real. And this nigga Shaq coming out, you'll never win another championship. No, nigga. Who paid you to say that, bro? Shaq, you sway smarter than that, nigga. Stop it. You see what's going on. You niggas is acting like hoes, bro, for this nigga. Straight up. And I don't give a fuck, bro. That's what it is, nigga. Stop acting like less than we know you are. Nigga, for a motherfucking dollar sign. Stop letting these motherfuckers control you. You see what's going on, nigga. Stop using everybody else as a scapegoat. Y'all niggas need to hold this nigga accountable, nigga. He was the chosen one. He told everybody to keep the same energy. He's considered the king, nigga. He's considered the greatest in the world. So, nigga, with all of that comes a little bit of ownership and accountability, nigga. 
So Jenny Bus is tired of him and his bitch ass crew, nigga. She says she loving the crew. They said she loving the crew. On that shit. Them niggas acting real whole whole like, bruh. Period point blank. So if I was them niggas, I would get the fuck far the fuck away from that nigga. He is sabotaging you niggas' career. Straight up. And legacies. It's everybody's fault but his. And now he's at an odds with the fans. He has an is at an odds with ownership. And he's at an odds with some of his players. But then players know that I have to glorify this nigga in order for me to stay in this league. Because if I don't say good things about this nigga and make it seem like I like this nigga, then my career can possibly be over. And that's why you got motherfuckers like Adam Silver coming up. I'm not ready to move on from the LeBron train. He's making me so much money. You big ear motherfucker. You look like one of the motherfucking Woody off a of Toy Story nigga with no hair nigga. You potato head looking motherfucker. Fuck is you talking about? So many other great players around this league, nigga, that motherfuckers respect. You don't want to market real niggas, though. They don't like marketing real motherfuckers. They would rather mark them, market them motherfuckers that they can control. You feel me? Give them a couple of dollars here and there. <clears throat> and this motherfucking shit show of a motherfucking NBA. It's a straight reality show, nigga. This nigga LeBron has single-handedly destroyed the integrity of the fucking game. And that's okay with y'all. Because y'all don't give a fuck. Because y'all love sniffing out niggas' asses. That's why we gonna keep giving this nigga the smoke. That's why we gonna boot the fuck out this nigga. Nigga on, on his motherfucking farewell, farewell tour. That nigga deserves all the booze. <clears throat> it's not, you know, that shit don't impress me, them numbers. That shit don't impress me. Nigga, I'll pay attention to how you go about your business, nigga. This nigga no, doing all these Peloton commercials and all these commercials with the little workout machine and shit. And you feel me? Like this motherfucker keep his body in shape. A nigga who got to spend $4 million to keep his body in shape in the off season, nigga. To try to gain a competitive edge. Just eat right and exercise, nigga. But no, that nigga came to the league hella swole on them performance enhancers, nigga. Come on, bro. And the nigga still cheated his way to all these accolades. That nigga shouldn't have won no rookie of the year, nigga. Carmelo was the best rookie hands down, nigga. And the way they be treating Carmelo, not even wanting to get a nigga the ball. Come on, bro. If you got so much power, nigga, you should know that, nigga, Carmelo should be an intricate part of the offense, nigga. Especially if AD ain't there. But they refuse to get a nigga the ball. <clears throat> Look at that shit, nigga. The motherfucking gray. Look at that shit, nigga. Them grades, nigga, just started pin, Nigga, just popping up, nigga. This, LeBron did this, bro. Look at this shit. LeBron did this, bro. That nigga got great. That's crazy, bro. That nigga LeBron gave me gray hair, bro. And I don't even fuck with that nigga. I can care less about that nigga. That nigga got the whole world shit looking like this, bro. Any nigga who got a beard, nigga, in my age, nigga, you can best believe, nigga, you got a little bit of salt and pepper, bro. Because we talk about LeBron, that's why. We trying to figure out, like, why is everybody praising this nigga for all of these years? For what? He got four rings. He got four rings, nigga. He way better than Kobe and Jordan, nigga. He all-time lead scorer, nigga. He all-time lead scorer. Retarded niggas up out here. Niggas who can't think for themselves. Nigga, he got more. He got, nigga, he should have better percentage. He got more assists, more steals, more blocks. <laughs> that nigga got more coaches fired and more motherfucking teams traded, nigga. More players traded. More coaches fired, more players traded. 
And the nigga trying to get rid of all the GMs in this motherfucker. That nigga is single-handedly trying to own the NBA to where that nigga make all of decisions, bro. No matter what. And it's supposed to be his word or nothing. Just because he averaged 27 points a game. The nigga scared the motherfucking come home. You see the nigga hairline. You see the, in the commercials, his shit look full and shit. Pencil this shit in. But then when they show the top of that nigga shit, nigga, the top of that nigga shit, that shit toe up, nigga. Oh, Chia Pet looking. Ch -ch 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 Chia. <laughs> Scary nigga. Scared to come home because he know if he go ball headed, that nigga going to look like a rock rolling, nigga. Arr. Where my dog's at? Ow, ow. That part. Gonna have that nigga looking like a whole motherfucking rot roller, nigga. Mixed with German Shepherd, nigga. Mixed with your motherfucking bitch. That part. That's what it is, nigga. This is the longest video I ever did, nigga. If you come in a building, nigga, if you glance at this video, you like this video, you share this video, nigga. Make this shit go viral. Because I already know YouTube going to try to shadow ban my shit, nigga. Fuck you too. Period. Point blank, nigga. How about that? Yeah. If niggas could come on this motherfucking YouTube shit, nigga, talking about people, disrespecting their people, soliciting, you feel me? Brandishing all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Showing niggas head and brains getting splattered all over the motherfucking streets. Nigga, you share this content, nigga. This is real shit, nigga. Yeah. Ain't nothing rehearsed. This is straight from the motherfucking heart, nigga. Period, point blank. You share that, nigga. Yeah, and fuck with a real one. Straight up, nigga. Straight up. You fuck with a real one, nigga. Because we get that shit about the mud, you bitch ass niggas. Right. Real easy, man. Salute to all my followers. Salute to my future followers. Salute to motherfuckers that didn't hopped off of the train. You feel me? Salute to the haters. Thank you. Salute to my supporters. Thank you. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Love, live life, smile, cry, laugh. Period, point blank. Love on your people. Love on your people, man. Have integrity. Have heart. You feel me? Persevere through any adversities. You can do it. You can do it. Never doubt yourself. Have confidence. Don't be cocky. Don't be arrogant. But, you know, walk in your kingdom and your queendom. You know what I'm saying? For my beautiful women, black women. All women, all kings, black kings, walk in that. Walk in that. Real E. Leezy gone, man. Shout out to Ticket. Shout out to Two Raw. Shout out to Nola Boy. Shout out to T Price. Shout out to Showtime. Shout out to Mookie. Shout out to Mass. Shout out to Kwame. Shout out to Carcino. If I'm missing anybody, bro, I apologize. But I appreciate all y'all, man. Keep doing what you do. Straight up. Holla at your boy.